Hi, Steve D. Mike, and I'm back with something different. It's not a complete update. It is something that I got on the post today, which I'm quite proud of. This is a disc that isn't even out in America yet, but I've managed to import the um, American disc before it came out in America. Um, it's released over here on the 27th of July, so it's not even out over here yet. And I'll go into the different versions and why I bought this version and why I'm buying the other versions as well. But start with the first one I've got, Watchmen Director's Cut. With its really well done lenticular sleeve. I've got quite a few other lenticular sleeves, but it's really nicely done. Even though Manhattan looks a bit like Tinkerbell. Now, this is the director's cut, not the theatrical version. It does have a theatrical version on the disc, but it's a digital copy. So, if you're like me, live in the UK, then the um, American digital copies don't work in the UK. Which isn't a big problem because the English version, like I say, is on the 27th, is the theatrical cut. So, I will be buying. Um, I don't know if anyone knows this, I suppose the people that do watch my channel. People like Disc Junkie DVDM who get the um, really cool cases. Um, HB are doing head shaped cases. The DVDs were all Shack and the Blu ray is Dr. Manhattan. I will be buying both of those even though I don't really buy DVDs just because they're quite cool packaging. So that way I'll have in, on Blu ray the theatrical cut and this the longer director's cut. Um, there's another sting to the tail which I'll get to in a minute, but talking about this disc has the nice lenticular slip case. Now it comes with what they call maximum movie mode, which you watch the film with Zack Schneider. Now what does that mean to people who haven't seen it? Well, basically the picture will zoom out so it's in one corner and they'll have previs and other such behind the scenes things in one corner and Schneider will stand in the middle of the screen and talk to you about the film. So it's not like a normal director's commentary where you can't see it or a mystery science theatre thing where they sit at the bottom. It's actually him and he actually does talk about things and bring things up. So that alone is an awesome feature, but you also have the phenomenon that changed the comic that changed comics, graphic novels, groundbreaking impact, real superheroes, real vigilantes, explodes, ex yeah, explores how the saga's characters are mixed, mirrored in historical and contemporary real life behavior. I can't read today. Mechanics, technologies of a fantastic world, immerse self in all 11 Watchmen video journals, My Chemical Romance, Desolation Road music video, and exclusive features via BD Live and these can now be shared on Facebook. I don't know why you'd want to, but you know, you can. Um, all the features are in 1080p. Zack Schneider is one of the best directors out there for actually putting decent, you know, extras and time into his stuff. Um, it is rated R, so it's not an unrated director's cut, so why, I mean, it's gory as hell when I saw it originally, so I don't know what they've added. And so I haven't watched this yet, this only just came today. So it's not in America yet. I think it's a week after it's out. It says the standard box. Not as sexy as the lenticular cover. And we have digital copy, the special features disc, and the main film. So that is two Blu ray discs plus a special features disc. Now that's a bargain. I paid £24 with shipping. And the UK head version of HMV is 22, so I have no problem buying that in HMV, especially because it's got the collectible head. Now, for the sting in the tail, I'm buying, I bought this version, so that's one copy I own. There is another copy I'll own when I get the um, UK disc, so that'll be two copies I own. Next, we have the Watchmen Ultimate Collector's Edition, which is our in, I think it's, doesn't say does it, just December 2009. It has a five disc set, it's a whole new movie, the director's cut with the Tales of Black Fator woven in, so it's this movie plus the animated stuff. Um, a new commentary by Zack Schneider and Dave Gibbons, so it's a complete different commentary than the one that's on here. Two hours of bonus content including um, Hollis Mason's Tell All Under the Hood, which was on the um, Tales of Black Freighter deep Blu-ray and DVD I think, and the complete watch from Motion Comics. So that's a hell of a lot on there. So because I do like the film a lot, I dug it and I really, really like the graphic novel. 
I will quite happily be um, picking up every version of it. Um, I don't go overboard like that with every single film I buy. There are a few exceptions, mainly this one. Um, people don't know what it's about. It's set in an alternate 1985 where vigilantes are commonplace. Well, they were commonplace. Um, and that's how, you know, things were done. But they are outlawed by the Keen Act. And um, one of them dies. One of these vigilantes. And it's about the rest of them trying to find out who killed him and why. Um, I say it's a completely alternate timeline, so Richard Nixon's still in power, mainly because they have Dr. Manhattan, who's the only super being about of all of them, who um, basically wins in the Vietnam War. So since he win the America wins Vietnam, he um, stays in power. He changes the law so he can have another couple of terms. Um, so it's, it's not your normal superhero movie. For people who think it's you know going to be something like I uh, know Daredevil, The Dark Knight, something like that. It's not. It's a big think piece. Um, now, so I haven't seen the director's cut. There are quite a few changes, I'm aware. But um, the theatrical version, I saw my friend and his wife, and they had no clue about the graphic novel at all. Um, they'd never read it, ever. And they didn't even know what it was about. So I sort of filled them in a little bit about, you know, the, the basic ins and outs of what's this about, what it's about. Um, but even in not knowing, they still dug the hell out of it. For people who don't know the graphic novel, this is the last edition of it I bought quite a few years back. You see it's very um, sort of four colour. It's very violent, very sweary. I mean originally it was meant to be, from what I understand, all DC, DC superheroes. Um, so something like Rorschach, uh, Nice Hell would be Batman, um, Doctor Manhattan would be Superman, Silk Spectre 2 would have been something like a Wonder Woman, but um, they, DC didn't want their characters being this violent and being this, you know, morally pregnant. I mean there's rapes, there's child molestation, it's not an easy watch in a lot of ways, but it's so stylistic. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Schneider, I loved uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake, I think it's one of the better remakes in Hollywood history. Um, I still love the original Dawn of the Dead, obviously, but um, I think he did really well with it. Uh, 300 I thought was overblown and a bit pompous and a bit, I don't know, there was something I didn't like about it. I still bought it and I still kind of enjoy it, but it's nothing that, you know, I'm gonna go out and go mad to find. But um, with The Watchmen, I think he came into his own. I think he had the right time, the right budget, the right effort and his style works with a comic book movie so hopefully he'll carry on doing decent comic book movies but for me it's probably the best comic to um, film translation it really is um, it's quite a bold claim I know but for people who have seen it um, it was rather Marmite which means you either love it or you hate it I love it and um, like I say my friends who um, have never had anything to do with it, they liked it as well, so hopefully a few other people will like it, but just wanted to um, show that, you know, you can get these things early if you live in the UK, so I'm going to go off and watch it, and it's Steve Mike saying, see you next time.